incoming. Priority one, subspace communication. Star Trek Online takes place in the year 2409. That's 30 years after Star Trek Nemesis. A lot of stuff has happened in the universe since the movie, and we wanted to bring you up to speed on what's been going on. As you saw in the movie Nemesis, uh, the Romulans and the Remans have this internal power struggle going on. And after the death of Praetor Shinzon, it didn't stop there. In 2381, the Remans demanded self-sufficiency from the Romulan Empire. They wanted either a continent on Romulus or a planet with enough resources to support settlements. In 2382, the Klingons take advantage of the civil war within the Romulan Star Empire. They begin striking into Romulan space, retaking the Kittimer system and the area surrounding it. The Federation denounces this invasion, but the Klingons state that they are merely reclaiming areas that are rightfully theirs. So by the time we get to 2384, Chancellor Martok has been engaged in a full-scale war with the Romulan Empire for quite some time. And it's about this time, that a skirmish takes place between the borders of the Gorn hegemony and the Klingon Empire. And Klingons being Klingons, this winds up escalating in a full-scale war. The Klingon Empire is now engaged in wars on two fronts. On one side, they are fighting the Gorn hegemony, and on the other side, they are continuing their push into Romulan space, grabbing more and more territory from the Romulans. In fact, it's not until 2391 that the Romulans are able to halt the Klingon advance at Zeta Pictoris. Flash forward to 2392. Peace talks, mediated by the Federation, have all but broken down as the Gorn, this time allied with the Noskins, have attacked the Klingon planet of Ogat. Uh, this re-sparks the war between the Klingon and the Gorn. 